lost things in our understanding about God is his compassion for people in bondage to sin. His compassion for people who find themselves in bondage to a life where the works of the flesh are just manifesting everywhere. It's one of the biggest things we've lost sight of. The compassion of God when he comes upon a person who's in bondage to sin in their life. Where they're stuck in a pattern of sinning all the time. It's one of the greatest things that's been lost in the church. The church has actually come with this kind of a teaching or thought where we say God despises a person who's stuck in a pattern of sin. That God despises a person when he comes upon them and finds them in bondage to sin. That God despises a person. When he comes upon them and finds them in bondage to the works of the flesh. But that's not what the Bible teaches. You see, and what happens is, is um, if we can hear about all these things pertaining to God, we can hear that God is a merciful God, and we can hear that God is full of mercy, and we can all say, yeah, we agree with that. There isn't a single person that would say they don't agree that God is full of mercy if you're talking about a believer. But we've described the mercy of God in a way that it has no power to impact the hearts of people. We've actually taken the mercy of God, which is a beautiful thing that we're designed to experience it in the deepest part of our being, and we've described it in a way where it doesn't mean anything really. We've described it in a way where we say, well, man, hopefully one day God won't punish me. <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? And we've ripped the, we've ripped the power out of it, as we've done with a lot of things. And so we just want to take a look at the compassion of God and, and just kind of to see it the way that it is. And I, I think the, the name of the message is the uh, compassionate heart of God. The compassionate heart of God. You know, you'll find your life flipped upside down when you get a revelation of the compassionate heart of God. You'll find yourself living it. And not living it because you think you're supposed to. You'll find that you feel so much of his compassion impacting your, your, the deepest part of your being that you'll find that compassion being born out of you towards people. Glory to God. And, um, and that's a beautiful thing when your heart can be impacted by the compassion of God for you. But not just for you, for all people. And not just for all people that we say are living right. But for all people, whether they're living right or not. You see what I'm saying? Glory to God. And what we've done is we've stripped the power out of that. We find the mercy of God is, well, he won't punish us even though we deserve punishment. But even in the day, if you, you know, believe on God, but after a certain amount of time, if you don't start living right, man, he's going to come and punish you. That's how we describe the passion. <laughs> you know what it does to the heart of a human being? Destroys it. Brings death to it. Causes them to feel separated from God. To feel dis like they're a disappointment to God. To feel like God's ashamed of them. And then it destroys the power of the compassion of God. And so we're going to take a look at this.